Welcome to another video here with Queen City Reefs and more. Guys, first of all, I want to say thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate everybody that subscribed so far. I do want to start off by saying that in no way, shape, or form am I sponsored by IKEA, which is where this wing chair is from. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Alright, so if, if you are still watching by now, you know that means hopefully you, uh, you're enjoying these videos. Today we're doing a, a different type of video. I'm getting a lot of questions about this. And I just figured, hey, what a great way but to share this information with everyone by making a video out of it. Who am I kidding? It was one question. <laughs> but it did inspire me to make this video. In all seriousness now, it, it did inspire me to make this video. I had the same questions when I was looking into these lights and, and figured, you know, why not put out my thoughts on it. This is not in no way, shape, or form going to dissect each of these lights. This is mainly going to be just on my experience with these lights. And that question was, how do I choose between a Radeon G5 Blue or a Pro? I, personally, for this peninsula, I bought the G5 Blues. I could tell you that if you are a person that has been using the AB Plus Spectrum, whether it's with the Radions, whether it's following uh, settings that others have used to get close to the AB Plus Spectrum, which is on the bluer side, if you like that Spectrum all day round, I recommend that yes, this will be your light. Especially because I think with these lights versus the Pro, for AB plus spectrum, you get more bang for your buck. If you think about it, this light, literally, every single LED is set up for the AB plus spectrum. Essentially what that means is that every single channel is, is at 100%, and then all you have to worry about is the intensity of the light. I'm not gonna get into par levels or anything like that. There's plenty of videos out there that discuss par levels, so. If you're debating on getting the G5 Pros, and are planning on using the AB plus spectrum at that point that light itself will not use every single LED to its full potential each channel is lowered down to meet the spectrum of AB plus and then you mess with the intensity so at that point I feel like you're really just wasting your money if AB plus spectrum is what you're looking for I'm gonna talk about my experience with the blues and why I should have maybe chosen the pros my experience with the blues has has not been bad don't get me wrong, it has not been bad. But there has been certain scenarios where I have thought that maybe I should have gone for the pros. The main one being the color of the fish. There are some fish in here that are either blue, purple, or sometimes even that dark red where you are not able to really enjoy that, that beautiful color from these fish because of, these, uh, because of the blue spectrum of these lights. One prime example is the purple tile fish. When the lights are off, I, I work from home and I work in this office. So the lights here do not come on until like 10 o'clock in the morning. So between seven and 10, I, I see just natural, you know, light from my ceiling fan. And the color of, of that fish, of the purple tile fish, is just amazing when the lights are off. So what's the point then, right? Uh, on the other side of that though, you have corals that sh their colors are much more intense under blue lighting. Uh, you'll have your greens, you'll have some oranges, some yellows that fluoresce under this lighting. And if you are, if you're one of those, I, I know a few that actually love the blue spectrum from morning to night, then this is your light. There's also some corals though that like the fish, like the Cali tort, like the Oregon tort, are two acros that do not have that fluorescent pigmentation that will make them pop under blues. They actually almost disappear. So these corals here really, to me personally, are meant to shine under white lighting. So it just depends on the scenario, it depends on the kind of setup that you're gonna do. I can see someone uh, that is going to set up a bunch of zoas, a bunch of those fluorescent mushrooms, a bunch of LPS that glow under that that blue spectrum, wanting to go with the blues. I can also see someone that has that that has a lot of that red, 
a lot of that purple, a lot of that blue type of Acros SPS tank that would rather go for the pros. Again, I mentioned fish a little while ago. There's some fish that look a lot better under that wider spectrum versus the blue spectrum. At the end of the day, only you will know what you like. Yes, you can, you can do what I did and look through many reviews, many opinions, but you have to take them with a grain of salt. Those are just opinions. If you have an opportunity to go to a local fish shop where they have these lights on, by all means use that as your way to determine which way you'd rather go. When I first bought these lights, I can tell you that day one through maybe day 30, I, I loved it. It took me adding specific corals and specific fish to realize that, you know what, this light is not showing off the colors of these particular corals, of these particular fish and started wishing that maybe I, I would have had that pro to where you can still manipulate it to be blue in the mornings, blue at night, but at peak hours in the afternoon be white to have a bit of both worlds, right? So if you ask me, I wished I would have chosen the pros. I hope this video answers some of your questions. Another question that I get is, if I would have chosen a different light, which light would I have chosen? Up until maybe three to six months ago, I don't, I wouldn't know the answer to that, but I do now, thanks to Phil from Reef Keepers. He came across a tank breakdown where he was able to purchase the whole setup, tank stand and lights and everything. And those lights are the ATI Stratons, Stratons? ATI Stratons, I think is what they're called. You have to check these lights out. As a matter of fact, yeah, make sure to check out his channel, Reef Keeper, on both Instagram and on YouTube. And he talks a little bit about the lights. Uh, I can tell you that when it's time for me to upgrade, I will be upgrading to those lights. And I do consider them an upgrade. I mean, they are, they're a panel like the Coral Care, but they're fanless as well. And they're thinner and lighter, I believe. And you can't go wrong with that and they look so sleek so if you're looking at other lights uh, outside of ecotech i recommend that you look at those i'm not sponsored by them but i definitely if you want to sponsor me ati and send me some lights so i can put over this tank i, I definitely would uh i'll, I'll take it I, i'd accept that make sure that if uh, you know anyone from ati you let them know that i'm willing to accept the sponsorship and and some free lights to put on my you know what i actually put them on the SPS tank. I put them on the Mega Matrix. Anyways, <laughs> oh man, what else can I say about these lights? We we know that both can grow coral. It's been tried and proven. I, I don't think it's a conversation about these corals not being able to grow coral because they absolutely can. So can and many others that are in the same price range and so can many others that are below the, this price range. I think that's it for this video. I was hoping this would be a short one. Let me know what, what you think if you like these type of videos where I share a little bit of my experiences with specific products. I do have quite a few more that I could that I could talk about and tell you what I think and what I would do it again or not. I would like your feedback. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so that you're aware of all the videos that I put out You know, moving forward and leave a comment below. Catch you on the next one.